Hi guys, it's me, Contessa. I'm so excited to have you here in my corner. I know I've been going over a whole bunch of stones lately and crystals that are really good for beginners to crystals and people who are just kind of learning about stones. I love seeing that and I love how much they vamp up your vibration. Today I would really like to take the time to actually work on those people who are clairvoyants themselves or readers, psychic healers. We kind of get our um, crystals and we love them, but what if it's time to kind of vamp your vibration up and start to fine tune some of the things you've been channeling or have a little bit of smog in that area and you need to clear it? What kind of a stone do you need to kind of bump or jump up to to really allow this channeling to come in? Well, these kind of things can be really, really sticky. So you kind of want a really fun fire and wind element and something that's going to help like boost that different self-esteem because it's really hard to walk up to somebody and say, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm seeing this spirit in front of you and this is what they're saying. So without further ado, let's get this going. I would love to stage, of course, send some stage to you, stage. bring out the stone. You only need a really, really small one. These guys are really fast and high vibrating. This is an atomite stone. I wonder if you can see that clearly. These guys are really tiny and very, very high, fast vibrating. These guys are kind of a radiating the stuff out a little bit different because when you're picking up these different um, entities that are coming in or spirit guides from other people, we have to make sure that our uh, vibrational rate is really, really high. And these guys are really fun. Now, if you're a beginner to crystals, you don't want to quite work with this just yet because it's almost like running next to a marathon runner and you yourself have been enjoying sitting on the couch and learning how to crawl. So these guys will kind of, what will happen if you're not quite ready to work with this level of a vibration, what will happen is, is you'll get really, really vamped up and really, really excited, and then you're going to get absolutely exhausted. And it's going to take you quite a few days to recover from something that's really that fast, fast lifting of your chakras. It's kind of like, you know, like I said, if you were running, 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 running up next to somebody who's used to running and who has trained for that marathon, you know, it's better to take the levels and the steps with crystals. So I'm really excited that the corner let me allow that energy to go out. I know it's been needing it because we've just had that beautiful full moon and it's time to kind of shake things up a little bit. It's really great when we can lift that veil between the two worlds and allow these gifts that we have to really open up and blossom and let that vibration really bump it up. Because you know when you are having a great time channeling these beautiful spirits, you are in the highest realm of love and, and they're coming in contact with you. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it allows the people that get the message to heal. And there's nothing better than seeing a loved one or hearing from a loved one. I hope you guys have a great week. Enjoy the energy of an Adamite, A-D-A-M-I-T-E stone. And um, uh, if you have one, I want to see it. Guys, have a good one.